One of the coolest new techniques for bluegills was revealed in the pages of InFisherman magazine in April 2011 by InFisherman reader Bill Modica. InFisherman editor-in-chief Doug Stangy was fascinated by his instruction and here illustrates Modica's highly effective technique. Looks like fish right there. Bluegills tend to, tend to show up just about like small mouse. They look like little beans. There they are, little snap beans. And we are armed with little spoons and gulp today. Let the little tiny spoon, it's a twelfth of an ounce, this one. Drop down into, I suppose that's about 28 feet right there where I just cast. There we go. Feels like a good one, pulling hard. The characteristic bluegill thump and bump. Light line. Oh, nice fish, big female. There. So, I've got two kinds of spoons. Really, the, the uniqueness to this system, uh, and I didn't, you know, I fished for bluegills with spoons, you know, over the years, lots, obviously. But we actually outlined this system that we're gonna be showing you today. I'll throw him back quickly. We outlined this system uh, in our magazine, in In Fisherman Magazine last uh, spring. And it's a system that was put together by a fella, by an In Fisherman reader by the name of Bill Modica. And basically, um, he uses these small spoons, um, switches out the treble hook. We'll show you how to do that uh, in favor of one single hook. And he makes long casts. And sometimes uh, you find fish by do, making those casts. You work out of the bow of the boat, out of the, uh, the back of the boat. But it's a good way to find fish. And then once you get on them, a lot of times I like to anchor up. In fact, we're right over a pod right here, right now. I'm going to drop straight down on them. So you can fish vertical, but you can also, also cast to it. So it's just a great system. We'll fish vertical here one time, see what we do. There we go. Ooh, aren't they pretty? Look at that. They are just beautiful. Look at that. Fins up, beautiful eyes. Man, thick across the head right here. You get that little bump when they start to get big. He's just on the verge of going bull size right there. Beautiful fish. And you can see I've got him right below me and I had him right over there. So the electronics is a big deal, but I'll put him back. But let me show you these spoons, the, the two spoons that I'm using. This is a really classic one. It's the, the cast master. It casts well, it fishes vertically well. And again, we've interchanged the Eagle Claw 210 hook here, which is just a straight single hook in place of the uh, standard treble hook. And this is just a one inch Berkeley Gulf minnow. Slid right on the hook, right up on there. And those gills love that little minnow. The other one is made by Lure Jensen. And I've got it rigged just a little bit differently. It's a, it's a little bit different spoon. It's got a bent bottom. And this is called the Huss Lure. And again, I've interchanged the treble for, I mean, with us added the single, the 210 single replacement hook right here. And this is just a little power grub, or uh, tube. And I've got on this one, a swivel tied in just a little ways above it to reduce line twist. So the other thing you can do is if you can use two rods, and in most states you can, you can make a long cast over there with that one, set it down and let it sink. And you could be fishing this one vertical which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop it down and a fish come through, I'll fish it. Otherwise, I'll be retrieving that one over there. Or you could be making a long cast with both rods and then retrieving one and then about halfway through, make another long cast and, and fish it. So we'll let that set for just a second while I retrieve this one. Retrieving, you want, once it's on the bottom, it's just slowly moving it along. And then you want it to, to, to allow it to stop so it, the spoon actually backs up a little bit and that's a lot of times when they'll bite it. Oh, bump. They're liking that gulp. There we go. Finally, just kept attacking it and that's a lot of times what you gotta do. You just gotta keep reeling 
and they'll keep attacking until they hook themselves up. There, another beautiful fish. Wow. I tell you what, Bill Modica, one of our writers, thank you very much for this very simple but very highly effective system.